Hey, what's going on, Coin Up TV subscribers? Robert Welkin here at WonderCon, talking to Warren Davis, one of the creators of Qbert, the classic Qbert arcade machine, one of my favorites from back in the day. Oh, thank you. How's your How's your WonderCon going so far? I know you got a panel coming up. What kind of things are you going to talk about the panel? Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about Qbert. <laughs> we're gonna talk about all things Qbert. Um, it's a, it's a new talk for me. I've done talks about Qbert. I've done talks about other aspects of my video game career, but. Uh, I, I, I've actually put a new sort of a, I've gathered more visuals, uh, and so I hope it's uh, I hope it's an engaging and interesting talk. Let me throw out a lot of stories that people maybe haven't heard before, and we'll see. Now, uh, Cuber's kind of had a resurgence. You know, Pixels, the movie, Wreck It Ralph. Uh, you know, how does that make you feel seeing some of those, uh, some of the characters up on the big screen? Um, well, generally it makes me feel fantastic. I mean, to, to have something that you've done, you know, that you did so long ago still be remembered um, is a very rare uh, thing, I think, that many people don't get to experience. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have been able to do Qbert. It was my first game and it enabled me to, you know, have a career in video games. So uh, I'm, I'm very grateful uh, and I'm grateful that people are still... Uh, Enjoying the character, I, I kind of wish um, people would do more with it, um, you know. But on the other hand, I'm a, I'm, I mean, I'm torn because uh, it was a work for hire. I worked for Gottlieb, and, and none of us, you know, have ownership of the character. So, uh, you know, I'm, I don't make any money off of Cupid's yeah. popularity. So, um, but I'm I'm grateful. I'm mean, just grateful is the only way to say it. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of ports and versions of Cubert over the year. Have you have you played any of those? Do you have a favorite? I know the Atari 2600 one maybe not so great, but you know uh, some of some um, favorites or I, I you know I I don't really I mean the ones that really graphically looked like the arcade game. Those are the ones I like the most. I really haven't played the newer ones. I've looked at them and I've you know I've I, I've played around with them you know um, at shows and things like that. But I. Uh, I don't, I, I kind of feel like everybody just keeps on hammering out this, the original game and I'd like to see it taken in different directions. I actually have ideas for what people should do with Cuber, but no one's, had, no one's done it and no one's come to me to ask me for my opinion, so. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get on that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what company is currently owning the rights, but uh, yeah. I think it's Sony, but I'm not sure, yeah. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta call up Warren. Get back on there. Would it be the same sort of thing? Diagonal, you know, with the isometric. I can't say. The, I can't say. It would have to be a surprise. A mystery. All right. Um, also, something I was kind of checking out. I was kind of like, hey, we're going to meet up at WonderCon. I saw on like Wikipedia, it talks about how you thought maybe the game might be too easy, and you thought, hey, I yeah. need to make like a harder mode. Cubert is a very hard game in in my book. Well, you say that, but then you know, literally weeks after it was. Out in production and started appearing in arcades in 1983. I guess it would be early 1983. Started production late in 1982. We're getting reports back that people are playing it for hours and hours and hours on one quarter. So that's that's where that came from. It's like, you know, I could never play the game as good as the people that are out there playing it. And then it was like, oh crap, I did not tune it right. I, I needed to do more. And that's what prompted me to create faster, harder, more challenging Qbert, <laughs> which never got released until the mid to late 90s. I was working at Disney and I, I knew somebody who was uh, connected in some way to the main project. And so uh, I released the ROMs uh, after 15 some odd years for uh, faster, harder, more challenging Qbert. And now people know it. Okay. Also awesome. So get Find those ROMs and... Uh... They are available. There. They're out there. Yeah, people make multi arcade uh, cabinets. People make multi Cubert cabinets uh, where you can play the original Cubert, Cubert's Cubes, and faster, harder, more challenging Cubert all in one stand up arcade cabinet. People have done that. Yeah, uh, on their own. Yeah, I've seen. That's what I do with like Miss Pac Man. I do like yeah. the sped up versions of some of the Pac Man games, uh, so I can kind of get through there on those ROMs. So before I let you go, get to your panel. Um, since I do find Cuber challenging, and I know that the popularity is out there, new people are finding the game. As as one of the creators, designers, can you give some some tips? You know, like how how to get past those first few levels. Um, I I would just say you've got to play it holistically. You've got to have a sort of a sense of what's going on all around you. You can't just focus on where you are. That would be my tip. Okay. It's a little zen maybe, but uh, you know. And and honestly, don't ask me. Ask the people who are playing. You know, 
for uh, 72 or, uh, <laughs> or more hours. Awesome. Well, thanks, Warren, for checking out, talking to us here. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.